Hey friends, Kurt Klapier here with Teach Mom How. Today I'm going to show you how to make a video slideshow of your photos with music using PowerPoint. Let's get started. Okay friends, we're going to get started making this slideshow with music in PowerPoint. You can do this on a Mac or a PC, it doesn't matter. You can do this with any version of PowerPoint. It's real similar to what I'm going to show you here. I'm using the latest version of PowerPoint, but I'm sure you can figure out how to do it on an older version because it's basically the same thing. So when you open up PowerPoint, it will usually bring you to this screen, Microsoft PowerPoint, where you can select a template of some kind, or you can go with just a uh, no, no template. I'm going to go with no template. If you don't see this screen, you need to go to File, New Presentation. Or if you want to use a template, then you need to say New from Template. And then you select what you want, click Create. This is going to now open up your PowerPoint presentation. What we want to do here is we want to add, there's two ways to add pictures. I will show you both ways. And then I will show you how to add text to those pictures if you want text. And I'll also show you how to add music and export it to a video so that you can then upload it to YouTube or Facebook or wherever you want to send it. So the first way to add a picture is to click on picture, picture from file, and then you're going to browse to your file. Before you get started, you need to know that you, you need to know where your pictures are located on your computer. Mine are located in my pictures folder. Whether you're on a Mac or a PC, there's a good chance that they're in your pictures or your photos folder. But make sure you know where they're located before you get started, because when you import, you've got to know where they're at. Now I've got all these pictures here. Now I just flip through and I find the one that I want a picture of. Okay, we'll start with this one, insert. Now you'll notice when it puts it here, the picture is a little bit smaller than the actual slide and I want it to be full screen. I'll show you how to do that, how to adjust that. See how the picture is smaller than the slide, you've got this white space around. If you want it full screen, you can click and drag the corner. These squares on the corners are called handlebars. And that will change the size of it. I slide that there. Now, for the second way to import a picture, let's start a new slide over here in this area where you see we only have one slide. You right click and choose new slide. Now I'm going to add another slide, this time by simply flipping over to my file browser on a Mac, it's called a Finder. On a PC, I believe they call it Folders. And now I find what the next picture I want my slideshow is. And I click and I simply drag that to my slide. Put that in the corner. It'll snap to the corner. And then you grab this handlebar in the bottom right and click and drag. And this way you can drag it till it's full screen. Now I'm going to repeat that process one more time each for the different ways just so you can get the hang of it and then I'll show you how to add text to your photos and then I'll show you how to add music and export it to a video. Right click, new slide. Now we're going to add a picture the traditional way. Click on picture, picture from file. You have to be on the home tab so if you're not seeing what I'm seeing it's because you're not on the home tab. Click on the home tab right here. Now we find our picture that we want. Look at all these random pictures my daughter took. Okay, insert. Put this up in the corner again. Click and drag the bottom handlebar, the bottom right square. Have that fill your screen. And now you've got a third slide. Now let's add one more slide. Right click in this area here, new slide. We're going to add this the way we just drag it straight from the folder that the picture's in. So you click over to your finder or to your folder or your file browser, whatever it's called on your computer. Find the picture you want to add. And drag it onto your slide. Okay, again to make it full screen, drag it up into the right or the top left corner. It will snap to the corner. Grab your bottom right handlebar and click and drag until your picture is full screen. Okay, now I have a slideshow with four slides. That's all I'm going to add. You can add as many, you can add hundreds, thousands, dozens, however many slides you want, you can add to this slideshow. I'm going to simply 
show you how to add some photo or some text real quick. So you've got the slide here already. Now we're going to add a text box right up here at the top. Again, you've got to be on the Home tab. Click on that, the text box. Then you click. I'm sorry. Let me do it again. You click on the text box. You need to click and drag is what I didn't do. Click on the text box, then click and drag however big you want that text box to be. Type what you want to say here. You just start typing. Type the caption, whatever you want it to say. Now you'll notice it's black on mine and my picture is very black so I need to select it and change the font color. And then up here, as long as I'm on the shape format, uh, up here under text fill, I click on this drop down and I choose whatever color I want. I'm going to go with white. Okay, now I have my text the color I want so I can see it. I want to make it a little bigger so I select it by highlighting it again hover the cursor on one end and click and drag to highlight it and I can change it to bold this is if you come back to home here you'll be able to do just like regular text editing in Microsoft Word change it to bold if you want center it if you want make the font bigger this is the font size here you can play around with all these settings to make it bigger and then you just click and drag this whole text box to wherever you want it to be. Show you one other trick if it part of it kind of is hard to read because of your picture. You can select it and over here on the right under text options you can click on this little A here and there's a shadow effect that's kind of cool. You can add this by selecting a color. We'll go with like a gray for our shadow and you can change the size of it. Okay like that. You can make it more blurry and different things like that. Okay, actually, I'm going to make it black. And then what that did is it made it kind of see how there's a little bit of a black shadow behind it. It's kind of blurry, it makes that pop out a little bit more. Now I've added text. Okay, you can play around with the text, you can play around with those settings and have fun with it. But I'm now going to show you how to add music and how to export this to a movie so that you can then put that video or that movie online to share with your friends and family. Okay, to finish off our slideshow and get it into a movie format so we can upload it to YouTube, let's click on Transitions. And what transitions are, are how it fades or how it switches from one picture to another. There are several here. You can do no transition, which is just a straight cut. You can do a different phase, different things like that. I'm going to try one called a morph and see how that turns out. So you select Morph. And you'll see that that's what it does there. Okay. I guess that's a morph. To me, that looks just like a flash, but that's what they call a morph. Now, over here, you choose the duration of your transition. How long that transition will last. I think a two-second transition is a little bit long. So I'm going to change it to one second. You can have it make a sound if you want every time it changes, but I'm not going to do that. And you can tell it when you want it to switch. Okay, if it's on a mouse click, then this is a presentation you have to click through. But since we're making a video, we want it to switch automatically. So we're going to select after and we're going to change this to five seconds. Zero five period zero zero. That's five seconds. That way that will make each picture stay on the screen for five seconds. Then it will transition to the next picture. I'm going to click apply to all. And that will apply it to all of my slides. Okay, before we're ready to export our slideshow as a movie, we need to add music. So I assume you want music on your slideshow. So what you do is you click on insert. You select the first slide that you want, the very first slide you want music to be on. And up here at the top right, you click audio, drop down. You can choose audio browser. You can choose an audio file 
from your computer or you can record audio. We're going to go audio from file. Now, just like the photos, before you do this, you need to make sure you know where your audio files are on your computer and uh, what song you want to grab. So I'm going to go to my music list. I'm going to choose iTunes because this is where mine are located. Grab some music here. We'll put a Darius Rucker song on. Click insert. And it's going to add the music to my screen. Now, I don't want this just to play on this slide. I want it to play across the whole video. So up here on the top right, again, I'm under the audio format tab. I need to choose play across slide. If it's a shorter song, if the song is shorter than, if the song is shorter than the video you're making, then you may want to choose loop until stop. That will play the song over and over until your slideshow ends. And now we're set. Now if we want to preview our slideshow, we can go to slideshow and put push play from the start. And you'll see a preview of our slideshow. Now you don't see the music because I've got it turned down so I can record this video, but you would hear the music. So I just discovered something terrible about uh, PowerPoint, Microsoft, go figure. I don't know why they are this stupid, but in previous versions of Microsoft, you could export your slideshows as movies. And in the newest versions, or Microsoft Office 2016 and Microsoft Office 365, which is what I have, you cannot export them. Go figure why they would backtrack on that. Who knows? But let me show you how you would do it in, in an older version of Microsoft Office in case you have that. In the past, you just click File, and there was a Save As or an Export As Movie option. It was that simple and would create a movie on your computer that you could then share on social media. Now I'm going to show you a workaround to still turn this into a movie, but I'm also posting links on this video over to the side and in the description of far better options for making slideshows with music than PowerPoint, especially since they removed this option. But here's the workaround. You open a program called QuickTime and I can't actually show you what QuickTime looks like, but you can install it on your computer for free. And you open QuickTime, and in QuickTime you go up to the top and you choose File, New Screen Recording. Okay, I can't show you that because I'm using it to record this video. But when you go up to the top and you choose File, New Screen Recording, that will allow you to capture your screen. Then you capture your screen and you push slideshow play from the start and it will start playing your video and then if you still want to add music you can add it in YouTube that's what I recommend okay so that's the workaround you record your screen while you play your slideshow and then you upload it to YouTube that file up to YouTube and you put it on YouTube you add music. That's what I recommend because unfortunately they recorded they removed the export to movie feature but if you still have an older version of PowerPoint you can still export your file to a movie. Okay friends that's how you make a slideshow using PowerPoint and that's how you add music and whatnot but the bottom line is don't use PowerPoint for making slideshows it's not a good option it's the most cumbersome uh, it's just not a good option. You saw why in the tutorial, but I wanted to show you because a lot of people search for how to create a slideshow using PowerPoint. Now, I've posted over here on the, on the side of the screen some videos of better options, easier options, options you can make slideshows with your phone. And so check those videos out. That's the way I recommend you make a slideshow. That said, I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe. Leave a comment with any questions. I will respond to your comments and questions. And please click here and subscribe to my channel. Talk soon.